Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. All right, next up is the Mets and the Rockies. Oh, Mindy, I really got burned in that one. I gave out the under on the show. You gave out the Rockies run line, and you were right. The Mets have already <laughs> won the game. I think it was a 7-6. to six. Was that the final? Yeah, uh, yeah and it totally like, blew up that under. It was 6-1. to one. I was uh, thought I had it. Yeah, feeling pretty good. Yeah, because I, I was also – you know, feeling what you were there a little bit. So, oh, man. All right. What do you got in this one here with Mets and Rockies? Well, I'm going to go ahead and go with the under today. That uh, 12 and a half, that seems pretty darn uh, steep to me here, <laughs> especially with I feel like, you know, they probably should. It just kind of got away from them yesterday. I kind of feel like that's – you know, they just kind of got the breaks in there sometimes. Uh, but yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's one of those if uh, I just feel like that New York is just not a consistent team right now. Right. Uh, so that's kind of how I see it. I just kind of feel like they're not going to be able to get as many runs as they got there yesterday. I think it's going to be more like, you know, um, three, four or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and take the under here again. All right. Uh, you know, I've been kind of hot on those unders. That's why I've been, you know, I took it again yesterday. As I keep saying, man, the Rockies games don't go under. And I, but again, it just did kind of blow up yesterday with that big inning, yeah, uh, that big run by the Mets to tie the game at six. So, uh, man, for me, I'm going to end up uh, probably try what you did yesterday. That's what I'm thinking. I'll probably come back on the Rockies here with the run line. Uh, that's what I'll do. Take them plus a run and a half. I mean, they have won seven of the last 10 at home. Uh, McGill, six ERA in his last four starts. Gomber's been a little bit better. 4-0 oh, in his last six starts. He's gone 4-0 uh, oh in his six starts. Last six starts, I should say. He started 10 games this year. But, uh, uh, 4-0 with a 3.82 ERA, and Colorado has won five of his last six starts. I'm going to take Gomber here and uh, take the run line, and Mindy will take the under. Let's not forget. We'll see what the chat's up to in this one. Yeah, we don't have to get into that, Ziggy. Uh, I, I will say this. Um, oh, it was 10-7. to 7. Thanks, Matt. I'm sorry if that is the case. I thought Mindy had a winner there, actually. Uh, I must have tuned it out after a while. Yeah, I thought it was six to seven as well. But again, I was watching uh, so softball at the time, so okay. I kind of I'll uh, show the picks in just a minute. I want to talk about this real quick. Uh, Ziggy mentioned uh, getting rid of the kickoff, and I, I, I think it sucks. But I think the rule is already. I think what they they've said it. It's not they're not getting rid of the kickoff. But now, if you call for a fair catch anywhere not just in the end zone if you call for a fair catch at the one yard line you the ball will be moved out to the 25 so that's oh. what's going to eliminate more uh, kickoff returns uh, okay. this season if you fair catch the ball at the 24 yard line you'll get it at the 25 so if you make a fair catch anywhere inside the 25 uh, you're going to get it at the 25 all that's going to equal it to me is a lot of fair catches because if you look at how the returns come right they usually end up a little bit short of the 25, I think. Right. But if anyone did watch that, uh, you probably didn't. Uh, I, I did watch some of it. It was the Philadelphia Stars and the Pittsburgh Mall. They were making returns, kick returns, punt returns, kickoff returns. It was, ex you know, and they have a funky rule in that uh uh, well, the XFL has a funkier rule, I think, but uh, there were returns in that game, and you need returns, man. The, nothing like the opening kickoff. Come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyways, let's get with the picks here. Here's a, a Takia on the Mets, Ziggy on the under. 
Blake Rocky's run line, Darren Rocky's run line. Fernando says he'll take Mets money. Fernando also on the under. Rock, uh, Rocky's money line for Matt. Butterscotch taking that Rocky's run line. Uh, Nathan says he's going under. The Mets have been playing a lot of unders. They've gone under in three of McGill's four starts. They have gone over in nine of their last 13. Uh, I will mention that, but uh, in general, uh, the Rockies games go under a lot. Hello to Michael Thompson here. Yeah, the Rockies won 10 to 7. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so thanks, Matt. He was like, yeah, she still got it right. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Fernando might uh, – I don't know. Fernando, uh, I know I'm on the Rockies, but I think I'd rather have a pizza. Uh, <laughs> Savannah on the under here. Oh, it was the Rockies came. Is that what it was? Yeah, Rockies, the Rockies came won back. ten to seven. Oh, they came back. Okay, I was just whining about the total. I guess it's all about it's all about me. <laughs> it's all about whatever I pick. Uh, sorry, you guys. Uh, good good job. Okay, Justin on the over. And uh, just, uh, yeah, and all right. That's good for this game. So thanks for watching and make sure you get over to the toniespicks.com website right now and check out our all cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks and be sure to go ahead and use the promo code TonyT at checkout to save at 20%. Okay, have fun. Watch another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.